Hey, what is going on internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. So we're going to take a look at trap code form and creating this sort of particle reaction, uh, you know, particle line sort of thingy that I've always been, you know, fond of and I felt like doing a tutorial on it today. So this is what we'll be creating and here's the preview. And here is a little bit of a slower one. So it's a pretty easy thing to do, but I think it's really cool. So let's go ahead and let's get started with this tutorial. So I gotta create a new comp, just call it tut. And first thing we're gonna do is go up to layer, new, solid. And that'll be good, let's call it form. And let me make this clear that you will need trap code form for this tutorial. It does not come with After Effects. You have to get it from redgiant.com and it's in the trap code suite, so it does not come with After Effects. Um, and I know a lot of you guys probably already know that, but I get so many comments on my videos where I use plugins, where people just complain that I'm using plugins like halfway through the video, when I say at the beginning of the video that I'm using plugins. So obviously this is trap code form. Go ahead and add that to your background. And let's go ahead and let's take a look at this. So let's go ahead and open up the base form here. And let's go ahead and set the particles in Z to just one. And let's go ahead and maybe set the size X to like the size of our composition. So the width is 1920. Yours might be, you know, uh, 1280 or something like that. It's up to you. And let's go ahead and increase the size Y by a little bit as well. Maybe go to like 1800. It doesn't have to be 1080 or anything, but the Y will definitely be something you might want to customize. And let's go ahead and go to the particles, like an X here. Let's set this to like 150. And let's go ahead and set the particles in Y to like 125. And let's go ahead and go to the rotation X here. And let's go ahead and set this to 90 degrees. So now we kind of have the straight line here. But then let's go ahead and go to the center X, Y. And let's go ahead and just lower down the Y. Uh, X, Y position here, or sorry, that's the Y position to like where we can kind of see the top of these particles. And, you know, so far we're looking pretty good. So let's go ahead and move on to say the particle. And let's go ahead and set the, you know, the sphere feather to like, you know, maybe 20 or something. And let's go ahead and set the size to like two. Make it a little bit bigger, two is good. And let's go to the, like the size random and set that to 100. Just create some variation. Um, you might want to keep that at zero. It just all depends what you want to do. And here we can change the color to whatever color we want to do. I'm just going to go ahead and maybe select a, maybe a nice lighter blue or something. And, you know, so far looking pretty good. Let's go to the fractal field. And this is where a lot of our settings are going to come into this audio reaction and kind of create this cool uh, particle plane. So let's go ahead and maybe uh, set the effect size to one. And it's just going to create like a nice little variation within the particles. And let's go ahead and set the effect opacity up just by a little bit. And then let's go to uh, displace and maybe, you know, just crease this by like 25-ish. Don't do it way too much. You know, maybe we'll just set it like 20. And let's go ahead and go to the flow Z here. And let's go ahead and alt click the stopwatch right here. And we can go here and type in an expression. And we're going to go ahead and type in time uh, asterisk maybe 200. And I'll go ahead and zoom in here real fast so you guys can kind of, oh, well, I guess you can't see it. It's time asterisk 200. And boom, just make sure that's expressions in there. And let's go ahead and move on to maybe the flow evolution, which is right here. And let's go ahead and set this to like maybe 150 or something. So right now, if we take a quick little preview at this, let me actually close up our timeline here. If we take a quick little preview, it's just basically just going to be animating, you know, forward a little bit. So... That's kind of where we're at, but let's go ahead and grab like say an audio track, right? So I have my intro music here and I'm just going to go ahead and just drop it into the timeline and I'm going to hit LL on my keyboard to bring up the uh, waveforms and I can kind of like move it over here and kind of pick a place that I, you know, that I like or something. You know, it all depends on what song you have. You know, I prefer more piano music. You guys might, you know, have dubstep or something, you know, whatever, man. So let's go ahead and go to the back to form, go to the effects controls. And let's go to the audio react and let's set the audio layer to our song that we just dropped in. And let's go ahead and open up reactor one. And what we want to do is set the map to, um, you know, we have all these nice little parameters here that we can audio react our uh, particles to. Uh, so, but I feel like the best one right now is going to be fractal. 
that's gonna we're gonna have the biggest effect with the fractal. So if we kind of zoom in here or kind of move forward here, we kind of have very slight uh, animation. But what we can do is go to the strength and maybe set this to like I don't know 200. And if I even increase it a little bit more, to like say 3,000, we can kind of see there's some animation there. But I'm gonna go ahead and keep this set at 200 for right now. And maybe we, what we can do is maybe set the width to like 100 as well. All right, so now we're looking pretty good. So let's go ahead and go up to layer, new camera. And I'm using the 50 millimeter preset. You can use pretty much whatever you want. And we'll just click OK. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our camera tools here at the top. Let's go ahead and grab like the track Z camera tool. And let's zoom in here. And now we're like right next to our particles. And now we'll kind of get a better idea of how things look. Uh, and it and what's really cool about this effect, if I move the song over, the particles will react accordingly to uh, what's happening in the track here. So if I don't like this place of the song, I can kind of move it over to a place that's more intense. So like what I can do here to me add like two minutes to the duration here. And I can like zoom out of the timeline. I can see our entire song over here. So I can kind of like move it over here. And then, you know, this is like the meat part of our song. And then, you know, maybe we can just go back and close this up. And so let's go back to our camera tools here. And let's go ahead and see in our keyboard until we get the uh, XY tool here. And we can kind of just like move this to where we're kind of closer to like, I guess, plane level here. And let's go back to our Z track tool and zoom in a little bit until like we're like right here. So now we're like right on the field here. And these are looking pretty cool. So let's go ahead and open up our camera properties right here. Let's go to the camera options and what we can do is probably you affect the focus distance in the aperture. So if I lower the focus distance, maybe to like 800, uh, the particles that are in closer uh, view to our camera are going to be in focus while a lot of the other particles in the background are going to be out of focus. This is something that you should definitely experiment with and it's definitely probably the coolest thing uh, to do this effect with. And also we can take a look at say the aperture. If we close down the aperture, everything is going to be in focus, but if we go ahead and maybe set the aperture to like 40 ish, you know, it's going to help uh, blur it out a little bit more. So things are looking, you know, pretty cool. Maybe I'll go ahead and increase the focus distance a little bit. You know, that's all right. I mean, we can get really shallow here I and mean, we can set this to like 500. And as you see, we got this very nice shallow depth of field right here. So I'm going to keep it at that just for the tutorial, but let's go ahead and go back to our form. And I want to show you guys another cool thing is that you can go ahead and react multiple properties. So we can go to reactor two, two here and we can click on, you know, map two and we'll say we want to affect the particle size or something. Uh, the particles will, you know, obviously randomly, uh, you know, animate to the song. So that's pretty cool. And of course you can, uh, you know, affect the strength. So things can get overwhelmed over there, but maybe we can just like say, Hey, Hey, we want the particle strength to be the particle size strength to be like 20, something like that. And, you know, maybe we can go over here to our reactor one, maybe we'll just set it like 250. So, you know, of course, it's a little play, you know, get, kind of have to mess with it. All right, so let's go ahead and maybe go back to our form here. And we want to like kind of design this a little bit better. What we can do is maybe go to like the rotation here, like the Y rotation. And we can kind of, as you can see, we can kind of create a cool little angle here. And maybe we can zoom in with our camera just by a little bit to close that up. And you see, we kind of just mess with the Y rotation. And I'm gonna, I went ahead and changed our focus distance back to 1000 just because that was really shallow. But for the most part, we're pretty much good. And after a quick render, this is what we have. And for some reason, I just like this uh, sort of particle style. So, you know, if you guys have any questions, please drop a comment down below. And please be sure to hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the description of this video. And if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button for more tutorials just like this for After Effects. And if you guys enjoyed the video, please hit a like because it helps me out tremendously. And guys, as always, thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you have a good day.